attitudes. The Cherokee Indians served a spiritual and religious life filled with originality and dealt day to day with many hardships placed upon them. Now, they didn't just appear out of nowhere. So where did they come from? There's actually been a slight debate on where these people originated from. Some people think they sailed with Noah on his ark to this land. Some Indians themselves say the Great Spirit called them. A group called the Others claim to have come across an ice bridge that led to Alaska. But these are only a few ideas as to where they came from. Interesting. Where did these people live and what were their homes like? The Cherokee Indians were based in Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Their homes were constructed of plaster and river cane, and the tops were made of bark and thatch. These houses were very strong and kept the same temperature log cabins are kept today. Most villages consisted of 400 to 500 Cherokee Indians and around 30 to 60 houses. Some tribes even owned two separate villages, one for winter and one for summer. Each village also held a ball field and a council house for meetings. The Indians constructed larger buildings for ceremonial purposes. Mama, I am starving! Can we go to McDonald's and get a hamburger and french fries? Mm, I don't really feel like going to town. I don't know, let's order pizza from Domino's. That'll deliver in 30 minutes or it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Life is wonderful! No. The Cherokee Indians didn't just get to go out and get whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted to, or have pizza or any other food delivered to their house. These people had to feed for themselves. The women gathered... Nuts... Berries and fruits. And the men hunted food like wild turkey, deer, fish, and other small game. They also ate foods like soups, stews. Cornbread and stone hearths. What was transportation like? They didn't have cars. The Cherokee Indians made canoes from logs that were hollowed out. They also utilized dogs and pack animals. What they dressed like? The women dressed in tear dresses. The men wore hunting jackets and turbans. And for special occasions, they dressed in ribbon shirts. What languages were spoken? Cherokee, and they called it this language. Did the Cherokee Indians ever interact with any other Indians? Yes. They traded with other Native Americans, mostly pipes and pottery. They fought frequently with Chickasaws, Shawnees, and Creek Indians. But oddly enough, they were sometimes friends and allies with them. Did the Indians have different roles in the tribes? Power was divided evenly between male and female. Men did the diplomacy, war, and hunting, and were usually chiefs. They also made the political decisions for the tribe. Women made the social decisions for the clan and were usually the landowners. What was marriage like? A couple of rules for marriage was they shouldn't marry inside the clan and they had to consult with clan leaders and family before they could get married. When a man found a woman, he brought forth her deer meat. And if the woman turned away, the answer was no. If the woman took it, cooked it, and offered it back to him to share with him, then her answer was yes. After marriage, they usually lived with the female's clans. The wife had possession of property and the children, and the men had to consult with the wives for clan or family situations. This concludes my presentation for day-to-day -day life of the Cherokee Indians. 
So thanks for watching.